A keel Bill Toucan at the National Aviary suffered a beak injury that was impairing his ability to eat. Pediatric dentist Mark Pachersky stepped in to guide National Aviary Director of Veterinary Medicine Pilar Fish in the use of dental bonding materials and tools typically used in human dentistry treatments. So Dr. Pachersky, if you want to take a look at Bob here, right here. So what do you think, what would be your advice as a dentist? I would try to just bond into it okay. and try to seal the layers. And then with observation after the procedure, see how it holds up. Sounds good. Because I don't, I don't know if I would want to get involved in too much mechanical manipulation in such a delicate area. I can see the crack right here. Yes. A dental composite resin is then molded and pressed into the cracks and fissures of the beak. The bonding agent is dried using a compressed air tool used in pediatric dentistry. That's the way. Thank you. Okay. The puff. That'll cool him down some. I have to change his towel again. I think that's okay. Okay. Oh, let me put my glasses on. Okay. Well, now I'm going to look through the shield. Okay. Before I give it another. You're going to have to get 10 seconds with this. Okay. A dental ultraviolet light is used to quickly activate because and harden the bonding agent without generating single. heat. I want to be sure that it all cures. So that really does fill in all those layered gaps of a toucan. Who would imagine dental acrylic working on our, our toucan bill here? This may be all that he needs, just two layers. I'm going to open his bill just a little mm -hmm. bit, get in here. A toucan's bill is highly layered. It's a bunch of compressed, thin layers of keratin. So when it breaks, it all flakes off and cracks. And that's why a, a toucan's bill can actually completely come off. And so what we did today was secure and bridge the biggest crack. And now it's solid so that we don't risk more layers coming off and more cracks occurring that would render him without a bill. So Post-procedure, the toucan was given a full exam and received a muscles. clean bill of health. Thanks to the efforts of dentist Dr. Mark Pachersky and to veterinarian Dr. Pilar Fish, the toucan's beak is repaired, strong, and fully functional. Bob is able to eat, groom, and feed his mate Louise in their shared exhibit at the National Aviary.